in the process I actually cut this just a little bit short I measured it like six times um, when it's fully down I'm still engaged not as well as I'd like to be it should actually be about a quarter to a half inch further as far as my cut on this stuff goes and I stand in correction the tubing that's inside here and the tubing that's coming across this way are both hollow and they're held in place with I believe what's called a retention pin it's a uh, tubular piece of metal that's split it's driven into place with a punch or driven out with a punch driven in with a uh, hammer you know gently tapped in if this thing ever screws up you replace this tubing uh, not the whole drive shaft but you don't want to do that if you can help it I've seen this done maybe eight years ago yeah probably eight years ago and it took the guy about five minutes to do it I now know why because he knew what he was doing I didn't let me show you the tubing this is a chunk of the tubing and as you can see uh, here's one of those old cheap pliers I can get anywhere for like 39 cents you can see that it's not terribly big it is thick I can't see the weld in it, but these things are designed to shear and to explode if the, uh, if the PTO and the drive piece ever jams. So it's not uncommon for these things to break, but where they fit into the universal joint back here, they have a hole, you line it up, you drive your pin in, cut it to length, and you're good to go. With that said, Dysfunctional Vet's going to adjust the tiller and going to try it out for the first time this year. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing, share, give a thumbs up, uh, do a rain dance, and uh, write your senator. Thank you.